Hi. In this video, I'll walk you through the setup process of the Tide Cloud account. We start off with the sign up page. with a few follow-up questions to help us get to know you better. There you have it, step one complete. Next, we're gonna be setting up our organization. We start off with giving it a name and then choosing a home region. This is an important step because the home region that you select here cannot be changed later on. And it also is the location of your control plane within environments. The choice of the home region and available options are going to be dependent on your billing or subscription model. I'm going to be choosing APAC because I'm based out of Singapore. That completes my step two. Let's move on to the next one. Next, I'm gonna be creating my team. And teams can be created based on departments or product names. So this is a choice that you can make within your organization. I'm just gonna keep it simple and call my team the product team. And I have a choice to invite team members right now, or do that later. As you can see, there are a couple of different level of access that I can grant to my team members. And this starts off with the organization admin who has the most power and control in terms of what goes on within the organization to the team administrator who looks into managing the team as well as deployment activities. And finally, the team member itself who is focused on the deployment activities within the team itself. I'm gonna just move on from here. Next, I set up an environment. Once again, this is gonna be dependent on how you structure your environments within your team. I am just gonna call this a development environment for now. And within the environment, you can have control planes and edge gateways. So I'm gonna start off with a control plane and leave the name as it is. Remember that the control plane is gonna be located in the home region of the organization. I'm gonna leave the edge gateway and I have a choice in terms of where the edge gateway is gonna be sitting. Right now, I'm just gonna choose EU. And once again, these options may vary depending on your subscription model. With that, I have now initiated the process of deploying the control plane and creating the edge gateway. This can take up to three to four minutes. Okay. So we have our main dashboard as well as environments created. Right now, what is happening behind the scene is that the control plane is still being deployed. This is where the most amount of time is taken. So we'll come back to this. In the meantime, I'm gonna go over, I'm just gonna give you a bit of an overview of your Thai Cloud account. So starting off with overview, and as the name suggests, this gives you an overview of what's going on within your organization. You can toggle between teams from the top. Right now it's got the all teams view, but if you want to look specifically within the product team, you can find out more information about it like this. I'm gonna go back to all teams. 
Some of these numbers up top might vary depending on your subscription model once again, but it gives you a bird's eye view about what's going on within your teams, deployments and environments. Next, within environments, this is how you would manage them. Uh, you can add new environments, you can edit them or delete them. In terms of adding environments, uh, do remember that environments are self-contained and are not shared across teams or organizations. Also, if you are to delete environments, then you will be deleting any associated deployments, such as control planes or edge gateways, along with the environment itself. So keep that in mind when you manage your environments in the future. Deployments is where you can look at all of your different kinds of deployments, whether that is a control plane or edge gateways. The initial view groups your deployments by control plane. So if you expand this, you will see that there is an edge gateway that has been created. It is yet to be deployed. But if you just want to change the view so that you, you view all of the different deployments on its own, then you can do so as well. Next, we go into Teams. So right now, we only have one team. This is how you would manage the different teams. Um, this is also where you can start inviting users or team members, which if you have not done that during the initial setup process. And within the team, you can look at who are the people associated with the team, what roles you have, and you can edit those as and when necessary. On to accounts and billing. This is a specific part of your Thai Cloud account where you can create new organizations. Once again, this is gonna be dependent on your subscription. Within an organization, you can look at your current plan. And if you wish to upgrade, you have the choice of looking through which one suits you and make a choice accordingly. The choices may include different environments, the number of environments, control planes, team members, edge gateways, regions, or usage. So depending on what works perfectly for you, you can make a choice accordingly. Right now, I am on the Thai Cloud free trial account. From the payment methods, you can obviously configure your payment. And billing administrators are people who would be managing, as the name suggests, the billing and subscription, as well as the creation of new organizations. I'm going to head back to my Thai Cloud dashboard. And see if my control plane has been deployed. And there you go. It has been deployed successfully. So let me go into the control plane. So within this environment, you can have a quick summary of what or where the control plane is located, the version information as well as any plugins that are associated with it. It also gives you a view of all of the different, URL, different URLs that might be valuable for you. For instance, the dashboard, the portal. And you can also view the edge gateways that are associated with this control plane. Right now, I have one edge gateway that has been created, but it has not been deployed. So I'm gonna go into it now. And for the final step, just go up here. From the dropdown, select Deploy. And this is now deployed my edge gateway. And if I go back out, I will see my control plane with a deployed edge gateway now ready. So with that, we have concluded the overall setup and overview of your Thai Cloud account.